welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. In today's video, I'm very excited to be talking about all the tools that I use and that you should use to make writing a book so much easier. If you do enjoy this video, I really hope you guys subscribe to my channel because I'm actually trying to hit 100k by the end of the year. So please subscribe. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on to all the tools that I use to make writing a book so simple. Let's go. Alrighty, so the first tool that you guys should be using is Google Docs. As you guys know, I use Google Docs to write all of my books, to plan my books, to even plan and write my assignments, my YouTube videos, everything like that. Google Docs is really, really good because the one thing that it does that like Word doesn't do is that it saves to the cloud. So if you literally type on one single word, it will save your work. This is super helpful for me because I actually um, jump from device to device. So I'm sometimes on this computer, sometimes I'm on my phone, I'm on my iPad and it's just so convenient. If you're not a Google Docs user, what are you doing? Please just use Google Docs because it will save your life. The next tool that you should use I am so so excited about because I'm really excited to introduce you guys to Latix. Latix is actually one of the best note-taking applications that I've ever used. I use it now to actually brainstorm some of my assignments, to make notes on my books when I'm editing. It's just such a good space. It has a lot of flexibility in note-taking so you can literally use mind maps, dot points, and just, I, I think I need to show you guys. I need to show you how good it is. So of course, thank you Latix for sponsoring this video. And I'm just really excited to show you guys my Latix page and how I've been using their application to plan my book, um, Project O. I have all of these different folders, which I think is really, really great to keep your stuff organized and just make sure that they have their little tiny folders and their like order and everything. It just keeps everything so tight and so personalized, which I really, really love. We have um, settings, scenes, which is a lot. We have a few chapters and chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. They're kind of not in order, but that's okay. Then we have my favorite page, which is characters. And here you can actually import photos and even title your photos. And of course, here I also have Lewis Everlook and Alexander. Um, I love this page so, so much. Something that's really great is that you can add cards over here, which I think is probably like one of the best features because sometimes I just like need somewhere to put my random notes and also to keep kind of track of myself. I actually have these little things that you can open. I need to make sure that I actually understand the little quirks of both Lewis and Alex. So I love having this here so I can just easily access them and remind myself. It's so easy, you just add a card and maybe you just wanna be like, Remind me to read over my chapters. Something super easy like that and you click away and here it is. And then here it is, I have a reminder right there. Another feature that I think is really cool is to actually see your project through a mind map. And this is what I think is really, really cool about Latix. If I click over here to this graph and open it up, here we have a little bit of a mind map and this actually corresponds to the folders you make and it's just so, so cool how everything syncs in. And also when we're on our um, mind map, you can come up here to this little drop down menu and um, click on it. And here we have plot view and aerial view, which are really, really helpful. I find the aerial view my favorite since we can actually have a look at what is within these certain pages. For example, in the characters, we can actually click on here and view our little thing right here so we can easily see and, and have a very sort of mind map look at how we can plan and have an overall view of our project. Additionally, there's a few more features that I need to show you guys. If we come down here, we have two little buttons in this little corner. We have goals. So this actually shows that we can choose a deadline and have a word target. So this is really good if you wanna actually write your books and um, have a goal every single day to write a certain amount of words. Additionally, if we come down here, this is probably like something that's a really, really great tool and probably something that I use a lot, which is sequence reading. And here, as you can see, we can scroll and see all of our pages in sequential order, which is really, really great for when you need to have everything in one place and where you can see your things flow. Additionally, if we go back here to the cards, when you're typing in cards, you can actually link different pages to different cards. So if I type on here, and type the at sign. We have all these cards that we can link it to. So when I'm saying remind me to read over my chapters, I can go down here and click on chapter one. And there we go, we have it linked. This is extremely helpful also if you're maybe running an assignment and you wanna actually cite an article. 
or have some extra notes right here. So, so great. There are so many more features down here in this corner where you can change your style template. You can see your statistics and also you can see it in focus mode where you can actually just focus on one particular page. This is very helpful when you want to actually keep your mind on one particular project or one particular page at a time. So there are some really, really helpful tools that I really wanted to share with you guys. And yeah, so it's just such a great little note taking application. However, if you're already sold on Latex, I really do encourage you guys to go check them out below. You can download the app for free on your computer or phone or anything. I truly, truly, truly do recommend them because it's so much better than, for example, going on your notes app where there's like very limited space to actually organize your thoughts. But with Latex, I think especially for writers, this app works so, so well. So thank you so much Latex for sponsoring this video and allowing me to share an amazing note-taking app with my writers. Thank you. Alrighty, so the next writing tool that I really recommend you guys to try out is actually a mechanical keyboard. I adore mechanical keyboards and I feel like it makes such a big difference in your writing career. The reason I love mechanical keyboards is because it honestly helps you get motivated to write so freaking much. It just kind of makes me feel so much more professional and I think just the conscious act of buying something a little bit more expensive such as a mechanical keyboard is kind of like an act of commitment to your writing career and your books and I think it's just so so inspiring. Not only that it makes your desk look beautiful and just so aesthetic and it honestly like it's so weird how much this motivates me to write and if you guys are looking for a mechanical keyboard i really recommend you guys to check out my description box if you go under my affiliate links i do have a epo maker mechanical keyboard that actually lights up it's so beautiful and i have it here on my desk which i always use and i haven't changed my mechanical keyboard at all because of how much i simply love it so i really recommend you guys to actually go check out that and go ahead and purchase that because it won't only help you, it'll also help me so much. So yes, make sure you guys have a mechanical keyboard on your desk because it just, it helps. Trust me, it does. Next writing tool that I recommend you guys to have is maybe like a sort of basic one, but that is just to make sure that you have a timer on your actual computer because it's it's going to help a lot. If you guys don't know the Pomodoro method where basically you write for 30 minutes, have a break for 5 minutes and then write again for 30 minutes. It helps me so much get productive writing time done and just like a staple to have on your computer because if you have it on your phone, you might get distracted by literally going on Instagram or TikTok and it's not a good look. So make sure you guys have a timer on your device. I just have a normal timer that comes with the Windows update and it's just really, really great because it has focus time where you can have a break as well. And it's just so, so helpful. So make sure you guys have a timer application on your laptop or computer. The next writing thing that you guys need to check out is definitely Campfire. I've worked with Campfire twice before and I just can't start recommending them enough. I just uploaded a video quite recently where I talked about how to really export your book and write your manuscript properly and you can do that via Campfire which I thought was really really cool. I've also done a huge Campfire tour where I show you guys my whole like Campfire and all the folders or the world building or the characters and it's such a good video. I'll link that up there if you guys want to check that one out. It was really really popular so I hope you guys enjoyed that. But Campfire is probably like the best thing for planning in regards to world building so if you have a big fantasy world definitely check out Campfire because they're just like on top of their game. It's a software like created for writers by writers so the people who've made Campfire really do know all the nitty gritty things that we need to write our books properly which is awesome so definitely check out campfire because they're just like the best planning brainstorm software for a lot of fantasy writers so definitely go get campfire the last writing tool that i really recommend you guys to check out i've done so many videos about this and i do have a tutorial also but that is to use artbreeder.com I literally love Artbreeder. It's basically like an AI system that allows you to create your characters like this. This is Amen, or like this who is, oh, you've actually kind of seen them, I guess. Um, Alex and Lewis, um, who, uh, who are just on my Latex page. So I created them via Artbreeder and I do have an Artbreeder tutorial, so go check that out. I link it up there again. I think tutorials are probably like my best videos on my channel because you guys seem to really find them helpful, which is so, so great. I do a lot of like create my characters with me 
on my YouTube channel. Of course, I, I think I literally just uploaded one of them where I created Lewis and I just think it's so, so powerful to have a free, it's literally free, like all the tools that I talk about are free apart from mechanical keyboard. Um, but yeah, definitely just check it out because it's honestly so fun. Like you have to get used to it a lot and it's very, very difficult to get the hang of because the toggles are very, very sensitive. So that's why I really encourage you guys to check out my um, tutorial um, in the iCard that I just referenced to so many times. But yeah, it's just such a good um, software that I use and I just think it's it's a staple. You, you need Abria, just go check it out and you will come thank me in like five hours after you take five hours <laughs> creating your character. But it's so fun, okay, I promise it's so fun. Anyways guys, that's the video, I hope you enjoyed. I think it's just so great to have like these little shortcuts and little tips that I can just give you guys. And these are things that I use like on a daily basis and things that I really, really encourage you guys to check out because honestly it's saved my life plenty of times just using these softwares, especially Latix. So again, thank you Latix for sponsoring this video. Definitely go check them out, please. I'll link them down below. You can download it for free, but also get the premium version, which I do recommend. It has so many more perks, so many more things that you guys will definitely benefit from. So thank you so much Latix for sponsoring this video. And I hope you guys are doing well with your projects and anyways keep writing and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, sorry, last thing, last thing. I do want to do a little bit of an announcement and something that I've done on my community page a lot which is like all these announcements. However, every single Wednesday, I do a write with me on my Discord. If you guys don't know, I literally have a Discord. It's so exciting. And I write with you guys every single week. So I don't do live streaming anymore on my YouTube channel. I go on Discord, which is a more like tight knit, cute community, which I really, really do enjoy. If you guys wanna definitely check in that, I'll have all the details in the description below, but just join my Discord chat if you guys want. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in my next one.